हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन सेशंस ऑफ मटेरियल साइंस एंड मेटलर्जी माय सेल्फ विवेक परिक टेकिंग द लेक्चर्स ऑन द नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्टिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टॉपिक्स ऑफ द नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्टिंग्स लाइक व्हाट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्टिंग व्हिच आर द डिफेक्ट्स व्हिच वी कैन फाइंड आउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एनडीटी types of method which are used in this ndt and after that what we have done we have gone for the things that is the liquid penetrant testing we have discussed so now moving forward for our next topic that is the second method which is known as an ultrasonic testing method its short form it is known as an ut ultrasonic testing what is this ultrasonic testing let us go for the introduction of the thing it is one of the versatile method but what do you mean by the ultrasonic basically it is nothing but the sound waves here we are using or we are taking the help of the sound waves for the detection of the defect that is your ultrasonic testing it is used to detect and locate the defects like shrinkage cavity cavities porosity any of the non metallic inclusions which we can find out with the help of this ultrasonic testing methods what is the ultrasonic wave frequency ultrasonic wave frequency ranges from the 20 kilohertz towards the 20 megahertz it its range is between the 20 kilohertz to 20 megahertz and ultrasonic waves can be transmitted through solid liquid or gaseous and can be reflected by the subsurface defect that means this test is possible for any of the medium that is any solid liquid or the gaseous medium we can use this particular method of the ultrasonic testing clear what we are using sound waves with the help of the sound waves what we can do we can pass that sound waves inside the material and goes for the detection of the defect which is there or not inside the material clear and your sound waves will never ever will give you any type of the destruction in the material that's why it falls under the non destructive testing clear this method is used to find out the detection location and estimation of the defect what was the minus point in lpt we cannot find out the size of the defect of the material but here we can find out the location size and whatever the defects which are there or which are present inside the material can be find out with the help of this method now let us go for the principle what is the principle of this thing ultrasonic waves they are generated with the help of the piezoelectric effect what is that piezoelectric effect it is the effect in which any electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy or vice versa from a mechanical energy towards the electrical energy with the help of the quartz crystal what is quartz quartz is nothing but a silicon type of the material silicon oxide chain that is known as an quartz and that quartz material are used for the piezoelectric effect before the wave transmission what we will be doing we will be using the oil film oil film is provided between the probe and the component what is probe in the probe we are placing piezoelectric material so there ultrasonic sound waves will be generated but how we can transmit from the probe inside the material with the help of the oil film we will transmit our waves from probe into the component surface to ensure that the proper contact between them and that for the transmission of the waves when the ultrasonic waves they are introduced inside the metal in the time interval the outgoing and incoming signals are recorded on the cro screen that is known as a cathode ray oscilloscope you might have seen that screen in the heartbeats of the material that it will be like this in which there will be a wave function is going on so the same type of the things can be applied over here so this was the thing how we are transmitting the sound waves inside the material so let us see the principle with the help of it see over here this is a probe and this is the sample this is your cro screen how with the help of the electric current electricity is generated here there is a quartz which are placed so due to the electric current what will happen the crystal will get squeezed squeezed 
and due to the squeezing effect what will happen waves will be generated why because piezoelectric effect that means from electrical to mechanical so electric current will give you sound waves that is the mechanical and as a result here the sound waves will start going inside the material this is a CRO screen on which your wave or the pics will be recorded on the screen now how does this thing happen so here we can find out the distance of the sound traveled can be displayed on the flow character that means whenever it will enter it will give you the pick like this whenever it will hit the sample at the bottom of the surface it will once again gives you the signal so from the signals also we can find it out so whatever the perfect material calibrator material is there in which there is no defect try to find out the thing that means try to find out the distance of the waves which is taken that means how much time is taken for this to pick if the time is less you will definitely come to know that there is a defect inside the material now let us see how this thing happened if there is a defect inside the material you can see the defect signal will be there over here and there will be a short peak for the back wall echo so whenever your thing is moving during the entrance here there will be a peak during the defect there will be a peak over here and during the back wall hitting there will be a peak which will be seen over here clear so now let us see how much that means this is the locate that means we have find out the defect inside the material that means detection of the defect is done now at what depth there is the defect inside the material so here we have given in the distance measured so from this thing if this is a 60 mm you can see from here on the 60 mm there is a defect is there so we can find out that from the top of the surface below 60 mm there is a defect that means the location of the defect as i told you earlier location of the defect can be find out with the help of this thing clear so now which are the different types of the testing methods which are there for the ultrasonic testing they are primarily divided into three types out of them we will be discussing our first method that is the pulse echo and through transmission method in which we will be going for the how the reflected energy is there second one normal beam on the angle beam that means during any certain angles a sound energy is introduced inside the material and the last one using the context and the immersion that is with the help of the couplings of the transducer on the test material we will only discuss about the method that is known as an pulse echo and the true through transmission method so let us go for that particular method and in that thing the first method which comes that is known as an pulse echo method what is this pulse echo method let us discuss it is the method which is most commonly utilized in the ultrasonic testings of the material the transmitter and the receiver they are the two probes which we are used out of the two all both the things will be acting as a one so only one probe is used inside the material here the CRO screen is calibrated to show the distance between the time interval and for the location and the defects which is present inside the material. Let us discuss this thing with the help of the figures. You can see over here only one probe is there. This probe will act as a transducer and receiver that means for the transmission for entering the thing this material is probe is used and for receiving the signal also this probe is used. So you can see over here during the entrance transmission pulse is there and here there will be a back wall echo will be there. So there will be a two things that means it will give you an indication that there is a no defect which is there in the material. If there is a small defect which is there so you can see there is an entrance transmission and then there is a defect peak and there is a back wall echo why back wall echo is less because certain waves will come back after hitting the defect while some of the waves will go and hit the material so its intensity will be low so you can see over here the back wall echo is less if there is a defect echo and if there is a major defect is there a large size defect then there is only a defect echo will be there no back wall echo is there you can find out that how much distance by calculating the distance you can find out up to the depth at which the defect is there 
you can also the question will be arising that how we can find out that this is a defect you can measure the thing the original sample has this much distance and the time here you can see your transmission wave is very less time so that is the indication of the defect which is there inside a material this was about the pulse echo method now comes the second one transmission through or you can say through transmission method where we are using two probe one probe will act as a receiver and one probe will act as a transducer that means for the transmission one is transmitter probe and the second one receiver probe in this method what we can find out internal defect with the help of the signal amplitude we can find out whatever the defect is there or not so you can see over here transmitter receiver and here the sound waves are gone that means where from the one end transmission is done and on the another end we will receive it and we will find out whether there is a defect or a not there is a change in the graph you can see over here transmitter at one end receiver at one end you can see the two peaks which are there here if there is a small defect is there you can see the small peak as compared to this then it will be an indication of the very small defect and if there is no if there is a major defect or the large defect is there there will be no echo will be find out on the receiver and why because your sound wave has not reached the receiver so there will be no signal your railway tracks and all the things they are find out with the help of this ultrasonic testing method that is through transmission method only clear so this was your two methods through which we can find out for the ultrasonic testing now comes the advantages that what are the advantages of this particular ultrasonic testing method first one that is it is a very fast and a reliable method second one there is a sensitivity is there for the very small discontinuities will be there then the third one comes that is the large thickness component can be easily tested from this ultrasonic method it can be applied on any of the material that is metallic non metallic any of the components can be find out with the help of this method data can be preserved for a very long time that means the whatever the cro screen is there if you take out the print out of that material you can <coughs> for that thing what you will do that the whatever the data is there that can be preserved for a long time as you all know with advantages there comes the disadvantages clear so what are the disadvantages of this thing the skilled operator is required why because the transmission and the receiver it is one of the important part which cannot be done by any of the particular the person components which are rough irregular in shape and size very small or the thin non homogeneous cannot be detected why because for that thing the rough surface what will happen if there is a surface which is rough if there is a rough surface is there and if you are placing a probe over here so there is an uneven surface so what will happen there will be a problem will be arising during the detection of the material defects which are very close that means if there is defect over here what will happen it will not be detected why because in only one peak only your defect peak will be there so whatever the defects which are occurring very close towards the surface cannot be find out with the help of the ultrasonic testing normally it requires a coupling medium to promote the transfer that means you have to use another medium that is a for the transmission as i told you earlier oil film or anything there should be one medium which is there to transmit your sound waves inside the material so where we can use this material applications will be it is used for the large size casting welding and forging whatever the sample which are very large in size can only be detected with the help of the ultrasonic testing then we can find out the ferrous and non ferrous pipe rod sheet any because long things large things can be easily find out with the help of this thing railway tracks can also be examined with the help of this particular method is clear so this was your ultrasonic testing with the help of the sound waves we will be going for the testing of the material so we have discussed ultrasonic testing in this lecture and the remaining three methods we will be discussing in our upcoming lectures clear so till then thank you